My husband and I, we've been in Twin Bridges for quite a few years, since 1975, 76. At that time, I knew a lot about Tom Morgan, but not about the company. Tom and I knew each other. Tom had graduated from Ennis High School. I had gone to school in Ennis. Kind of a local legend. This was a little bit before he really became recognized on the national level. He owned the company at that time, along with Glenn Brackett. I approached Tom to see if my husband and I could buy a couple acres from a parcel of land that he had on the Big Hole River. He told me, well, no, Annette, but I'll offer you a job. So I left the conservation district and I started working for the R.L. Winston Rod Company. Fate lands in your lap in funny ways. He's highly regarded now, almost as a legend in the sport of fly fishing. Some of his rod designs are still cherished today. I had the opportunity to work with him and Glenn Brackett, his partner in the company. I worked for the two of them for quite a few years. I learned a lot from Tom Morgan. First and foremost, I learned that the attention to detail is paramount. He was meticulous on coming as close to perfection as he could get. He cared about the community. He was also an avid conservationist. He worked hard to promote the health of fisheries. Even in his later years, he continued to be a defender of the resources. When David Ondaatje bought the company, he spent a lot of time with Tom Morgan, and the two of them became good friends. And in some ways, Tom was a mentor to David. That mentorship still carries through today. 